Hello everyone, welcome to another new tutorial on MATLAB. So in this video, we are going to see how to write the Newton Upson method in MATLAB. Um, well, uh, Newton Upson method is basically um, a, a, a numerical approximation that is uh, uh, a numerical process used to approximate the root of a single valued function. So first of all, for your convenience, I have here given you know all the input and output uh, that uh, are going to be required in our program. So first of all, as you uh, as you see that we have to define the function of which we are going to approximate the root of. Okay, and then uh, we have to uh, define the derivative of this function. And we also need to guess the initial approximation. And so it is an arbitrary value that we are going to input. And then to measure the accuracy of our root, uh, we will be require the tolerance. And uh, finally, to conduct our for loop or the loop, uh, we, we need to have a maximum number of iteration n. And uh, here is the formula uh, of Newton Upson method. I'm pretty sure that all of you know it. Okay, then in the right hand side, uh, I have uh, written the format of our output. So basically we are uh, going to print our output in a tabular form uh, where the first column uh, will be consisted of the iteration numbers. And in the second column, we will uh, print our approximate roots. And finally in the third and the last column, we will print the error of our consecutive, consecutive two roots. Okay, so let's move into the program. So first I have to define our function f. So here uh, I will uh, define my function. So there are uh, many process to define function in MATLAB. Here I am using the inline command to define my function. And uh, I, the function I'm going to choose is from uh, the book numerical analysis by Richard L. Barden. Uh, here, so here in example one, I have uh, the function is given as cos x minus x. So it is our function and it is uh, a very, the variable here is x. So I have to write the variable here uh, in the inverted comma. Then the, we have to find out also the derivative of the function, which uh, I will denote by df. So again, it will be a function of x. So it will be a function of x uh, and the function will be the uh, value of the derivative of cos x minus x. So I will use MATLAB uh, built-in command to determine the derivative. So diff, diff echo x. So I'll just uh, show you guys the output uh, so that we can, uh, you know, see our function and its derivative. So if I run the section, uh, you see that I have get, uh, got an error message that the variable x is undefined. So I forgot to define the variable, which is x. Okay, now run the program. So here is our uh, function. Uh, you see that uh, cos x minus x. And also the derivative of the function has been uh, defined as minus sine x minus one. So it's right. Okay, I will stop showing the output. Next, we will define our initial approximation. So here I will generate all the ap approximated roots in a array. So I will name this array y. And the first element of this array will be our initial approximation. So since it is uh, just a guess and you can put any arbitrary value, I just, uh, I'll just put 0 0.5. Okay. And next um, for tolerance, I will define it as 0 0.0001. So it's basically 10 to the power minus five. And our maximum number of iteration uh, will be say 30. Uh, we can uh, assign any value as n, but it's always better to define it at least 20 or more. Okay, so we have uh, defined all our input. So now I will uh, write down the loop. So 
four and so here i will basically range from uh, one to n and now my aim is to generate the rest of the values of the array y so i have always defined the first element of this array so i will start uh, here by i plus one because uh, in the first iteration i will be one so i will be generating the value y of two and i'll just simply write down the formula minus minus the value of the function divided by the derivative uh, y of i and y of i okay so here i have defined uh, defined my array using the formula of newton opson method so next i have to check my uh, the accuracy you know the difference between two consecutive loop so for this i will use if command so if the absolute value of y i plus 1 minus y of i if this difference is less than tolerance then we will we will print our solution so we will uh, print say approximated approximated root equal to so i have to format it percent point four f and here what is basically percent four f is our y of i plus one that is the uh, you know the current approximation if uh, it is less than tolerance it will be our root yeah and uh, if if we have got our root then we will just simply end our program here so i will use return command so it will just you know uh, it, it will not execute any other uh, other commands after it and if i have not got my uh, my required root within these 30 approximations then after con uh, after um, contacting all the 30 iterations the program will display a message so the message will be like uh, sorry the root was not out. so since it's just you know a spring and it, it, there is no number so i i'm not using if print him print f here uh, okay so this is basically uh, our initial program just uh, let's run it say what we get yeah so we have got our approximated root as 0 0.7391 um, now if i increase the number 4 to 6 we will get our root up to six decimal places so you can uh, you know increase the number according to your desire but now we were supposed to print our output in this tabular form right so that we can uh, we can see uh, the approximated root in each iteration so for this i have to make a table type something so after printing y i plus one i just want to want to print all the roots in each iteration right so if print if uh, here first of all i will the first column will be our you know n which is the iteration number here it is just simply i so and i is integer so i will use percent d percent d and in the second column we will be a uh, print the approximated root of that particular iteration so it is uh, again a uh, real number so percent 0.6f and at the end 
the difference it's also a real number so i will again use percent point six f backslash n so that uh, it prints uh, the lines you know afterwards and here so first was our i and then it was y i plus one and um the last one was our different which is you know simply this one so i will copy paste it copy okay so let's see our output so yeah we have uh, you know you see there is uh, our table type format but uh, it's uh, better if we use uh, a headline so this i will just uh, put it here So it's just you know uh, to to look the program a more prettier one. Okay, so you see that all the columns are not properly aligned with the headline. So to make this, you just you know can uh, put some number here. So four, eight, nine. So let's see what happens. So. Uh, this are yeah going a little bit in the right hand side uh to make the you know first row a little bit of down i'll just here uh put percent slash n okay so now it uh, looks a more convenient one okay so Here is our final output. You can uh, uh, you can just you know uh, do as many things as you want, but it's important to get the uh, to get a correct uh, answer at the end. So you see that in, uh, in the third and fourth iteration, uh, at the fourth iteration we have the difference of two consecutive roots is zero. So you know almost zero. So that's why we have uh, printed our. Uh, so now what if our uh, program uh, you know didn't finish within 30 uh, 30 iterations uh, like uh, when we will get this error message so for example since as we can see the number of iteration uh, took uh, four times so if i you know decrease n to 2 and then run our program then you see that uh, it will give you the message that the root was not found because uh, two iterations was not uh, uh, was not enough to get the accurate root. So this was our tutorial for today. Hope it has helped you. Uh, okay, so this was this was it for today. Take care. Bye bye.